Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. <clears throat> this is going to be a, kind of a short video, but I wanted to pass some information along to you about an older SDR radio, the Flex 3000, 5000, and 1500. As you may or may not be aware, Flex Radio has been taking these in trade uh, for probably the last six, eight months in trade for the new 6000 series radio. <clears throat> They're paying a pretty fair price if you uh, trade in and upgrade your radio. And then they take, they're taking these radios and refurbishing them. They run them through a bunch of tests, uh, test all the components, uh, clean them up, uh, make sure everything's working fine. And then they put them up for sale on their website. And right now you can buy a 3000, a Flex 3000, directly from Flex Radio used. I uh, believe they give you a 90-day warranty. That may be wrong. might be 60 days. But they do give you a warranty with the radio. And, of course, they've already checked it out. <clears throat> so if you've been interested in, in kind of moving to the SDR software-defined radio, but you didn't want to pay $2,000 for it, you can buy $3,000 right now for about $900 or so. And uh, got to tell you, they'll run on just about any modern computer as long as it's got a FireWire card in it. Now, in my case, I'm using about a four-year-old HP desktop quad core with uh, six gig of memory. Again, it's about four years old. I just simply went and bought a FireWire card and plugged it in. They've got some recommended cards on their website. Uh, and they can direct you to one that's uh, known to work with the radio. That's what I did. And uh, basically, you know, just about anything that's, that's modern will run the Flex 3000 radio, especially if it's a quad core, which I'd say is about the minimum you want to have is a quad core with, say, four or six, better six gig of memory as a kind of a minimum. Anyway, uh, what's good about it, as I've reported before, is that uh, fellow ham, KE9NS, at KE9NS.com, has been updating the original Flex software now for over a year. And I want to kind of switch over to the screen. I'll show you his website. He's now produced a manual. Uh, that shows all of the changes he's made uh, to the original software. Of course, his upgrade software installs uh, separately from your original software. So uh, the original software is still there, still functional, and it just simply produces a second icon on the desktop. Doesn't do anything to the original Flex software, except to add all of his features. So let's switch over to the screen, and I'll kind of point out some of those to you. So here we are on the screen, and uh, a lot of you might wind up. Uh, at his, uh, his original page and not on this page. All you have to do is press this, uh, <clears throat> this button up here that says Power SDR. And if you happen to wind up at his home page, just press this button and you'll wind up on this page right here. And if you're interested in knowing uh, what he's done to the software, just scroll down a little bit and 
right here is his uh, new manual that he's put out. It's 16 pages long. Let me click it and we'll kind of show you what it looks like. <clears throat> it's a PDF file. Here it is. And uh, if you look at this screen, you can visually see some of his changes, but if you don't know much about flex radios, you might not be able to pick them out. So he's gone into every feature and documented it in full color and kind of takes you through all of the upgrades that he has made in the software. Some of them are quite spectacular, like uh, this one right here shows the map of the USA and it shows some circles on it, as you can see. What he's done with this particular one is he's got a hold of the Voice of America algorithm that they used to use to determine how far their antenna would reach based on current propagation conditions. So this kind of gives you a visual map. And you can choose from the vertical omnidirectional antenna over to a beam and uh, you know or you can choose uh, uh, some other features you know of the transmitter and it'll draw you a little map that kind of shows you what it thinks the propagation is like uh, at that particular moment that's just one of the features he's developed anyway if you're interested in in kind of seeing what he's done here all these pages are new features. Uh, it, is, it is a pretty good one. He's added a second meter to the uh, main screen, and he discusses that here. And if we scroll back up, you can see those two meters are right here. <clears throat> In my case, uh, I have one set on SWR and the other one set on uh, power or uh, DB, as it's uh, discussed in flex radio terms. So I can watch and make sure my DB uh, modulation doesn't exceed zero DB on one meter and while I'm talking, and I can look at the SWR on another meter. But they're very flexible. Each meter is very flexible on what it can measure. And you can either position these meters here, or you can put one at the top and one down here at the bottom. It just moves everything up when you do that. Uh, anyway, if you're interested in knowing what he's done with the Flex Radio, let me get you back on my smiling face now for a second here. <clears throat> get you back over here. If you're interested in knowing what exactly he's done to the original software, you can go to this page and uh, click that link I showed you and just read through the documentation. I think you'll find that uh, he has a spectacular programmer. And a week doesn't go by that he doesn't issue some kind of either correction bug fix, or some new feature. So that's been going on for a year now, and he's finally come out with a uh, document, you know, regular documentation on all of those new features uh, to power SDR. Hope this helps you a little bit. If you've been interested in getting into SDR type radios, this might be a great time to do it. Get yourself a Flex 1500, 3000, or even a 5,000 used from Flex Radio directly, you're going to wind up with a great radio. It's going to work 100% uh, with a guarantee at a very reasonable price. Actually, no more expensive than uh, some used uh, regular analog type radios. So with that said, uh, enjoy uh, his documentation, take a look at it, 
And as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. Everybody be good.